And so, God wants us to be strong, like a mighty oak tree. He wants us to grow so close to Him that we will be able to face any trial, any difficulty, any obstacle in our lives and be an overcomer. No matter what life throws at us, He wants us to live a life of victory. He wants us to prevail against every storm, every test of character, every hard road we have to travel. He wants us to stand strong in times of trouble and hold steady when life gets tough. Our lives are to be growing lives. God's Word is filled with the promises that God has made to His people. He wants us to grow up in every way into Him. That's Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15. Martin Luther said, Christians are to be like little Christs. God's promise to us is to deepen and nourish our faith that we might grow in grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. 2 Peter 3, 18. This tremendous inheritance is made available to all people. God wants us to understand our lives and our marriages and our children, our careers, our future, the reason for our existence. He wants us to know who we are and why we exist. He wants us to be able to forgive past failures and embrace a positive future. He wants us to know what to leave behind and what to move towards. He wants us to move forward in the latter years of our lives with confidence and peace. He wants us to overcome the instinct of a natural fear of dying. He wants us to have a truth to believe in, a pathway to follow, a hope to hold on to, a community to belong to, and a calling to live out. He wants us to find inner peace and tranquility. God wants us to know that life will be full and rewarding. All of this can be ours by connecting with God every day. Follow these three simple steps to spiritual intimacy with God. God's letter to me. God's word. Inspiration from God. My prayers to God. My requests. Connection to God. My letter to God, my journal, intimacy with God. These steps will help you grow closer to God, and they bring with them a lifetime guarantee, a guarantee which will unlock for you the power of intimacy with God and a hope-filled heart. Connect with God every day. And my question to you is, have you connected with God? today.